What's up, boys? Let's do a full market breakdown here. <clears throat> no trades from me today. Um, nothing really clean overall. Now, what are we looking at going into today? Um, well, in the beginning of the day, I was bullish. Why? Because last night I drew out this consequent encroachment, encroachment, whatever you call it, and we were respecting it very well. So I was like, okay, where are we probably going to go? Um, well, we have this high here that's inside this level, but it's already been taken. It's kind of protected high. We have this low, we have these lows. So we're kind of in this like intermediate range. So, you know, you want to mark out every significant high. And this is a significant high right here. Um, so I'm expecting us to go to that after we respect that. Zoom in, um, CPI takes us straight up to that high. Need to just make my camera a little smaller. CPI uh, generates us straight up to that high. Now, there really wasn't a setup in this model. Um, you could have taken shorts. Shorts was the play if you were going to take something. And the reason for that is because you come up, you take the liquidity, right? <clears throat> now, it is a little interesting we didn't take the um, external level. But you see, we come up, we take that liquidity. You could have, you know, you could cause your change in the state. And maybe if you enter off inverse, you could take this. But me personally, not my setup. So I'm not going to take it because that's what builds longevity. But, you know, you come up, take buy side, take internal. Um, which is right here. Take internal and and you sell off. You do. Um, so you know where do you sell off to? You come down to the draw, which is over here, or the standard DB SDBP standard deviation projection, which brings us down to here. There really was never an entry. You know, market opens around nine thirty. So let's see what happens there. Nothing kind of just accelerate us down to the draw. We leave this external low here, so we kind of stayed in this internal range. We took the internal high, came to the internal low. I don't think necessarily that kind of search and destroy, not really. I think something that I'm starting to pick up on is um, if liquidity is taken before market open, market open will accelerate towards the draw. But if it isn't taken, market open will manipulate, then go to the draw. Does that make sense? Kind of just doing some research, back testing. <laughs> But, um, you know, we came and took CPI low. That was our main draw. We'll call this CPI low. Um, yeah, so no real trades overall. Nothing really that we could take. Um, no internal setup here. You know, maybe you could have called a, a retrace here, but you still never followed it. Um, I think we probably most likely are going to come back and take the external low. I don't know. We're kind of just chopping down here. Not really looking for much right now. No trades for me today. Just didn't see anything I like. Um, you know, it's becoming really clear though. I understand it now. Just kidding. But, um, looking good. You know, this was kind of the only thing that was holding up this up today too. I was open to longs if we respected this, but once we inverse this, I knew the shorts were coming. And I also was open to looking for an entry short to the lows. Never really got that. You know, the only clean one maybe you get is you get, um, you get an SMT right here. And then you get, um, uh, a pullback to an imbalance and, and straight to the draw. But to me, the risk reward isn't worth it there. It's not a clean enough trade. Not my setup, you know, no change in the state of delivery. It's one of my rules, uh, no change in the state of delivery, no trade. You know, you have to set these limitations to be able to um, help yourself succeed in the long run. And yeah, realistically, that's all I have for today. That's an in-depth market analysis, uh, no trades. I don't think there was many trades you really could have caught unless you caught these shorts at the top. Not much there to catch. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, feel free to like and subscribe on this video. I appreciate all the support. Also, if you want to join my Discord, there's a link in the description. Thank you so much. Keep grinding and God bless.